Main article. Kotoru crisis when his TARDIS realized he needed to learn a lesson after making a terrible mistake, she ensured 10th Doctor traveled back into the dark times via the time fracture. She also ensured an Ood assassin named Brian would arrive in the Dark Times. Pros. What the TARDIS thought of. Time Lord Victorious. To help the Doctor. Arriving on the planet Andalia, the Doctor witnessed a demonstration of Professor Hannah Fallomax's life shroud technology on Estony, which was disrupted by the intervention of Brian, who was contracted to test the technology's efficacy. The Kotoru arrived on Andalia and judged the natives, to the Doctor's horror, and took Estony with them back to Mordila. The Doctor and Brian followed them and witnessed Estony being rescued by Phalomax. Learning Phalomax was developing the life shrouds to resist the Kotoru, the Doctor decided to help. He spent days working in vain on the life shrouds, discovering they only appeared to work in demonstrations because of Estony's natural immunity to the Kotoru. As such, he only succeeded in making the Mordula crystals they depended on last a couple of hours longer. The doctor realized he had a physical sample from a Kotoru who had made physical contact with him and used that, and data collected from Andalia, to reverse engineer their power as necrotic virus to inflict a lifespan on them. Brian took control of mercenary forces as he worked, believing the doctor was effectively going to war with the Kotoru. The Kotoru confronted the doctor on Andalia, attempting to force Estony into killing him until she chose to take her own life to stop them. Infuriated, the Doctor unleashed his virus on them and sentenced them to a lifespan of 15 minutes. Pros. The Night, the Fool and the Dead. The Doctor's actions in the Dark Times caused fluctuations in time. Pros. The Guide to the Dark Times. Rewriting the timelines of entire planets in the future including Athana and Rax. Audio. He kills me, he kills me not, the enemy of my enemy, and even affecting the Dalek timeline during the era of the Restoration Empire, which had yet to fight last Great Time War. Comic. Defender of the Daleks, investigating the temporal anomalies in the future led to the Eighth Doctor and a Dalek Time Squad traveling back to the Dark Times to find the source, audio, the enemy of my enemy, with the TARDIS allowing them access to the Dark Times after foreseeing his alliance with the Daleks would end horribly and that the Tenth Doctor would need help. Also manipulated by the TARDIS to bring another incarnation into the fray to help the Tenth Doctor. Pros. What the TARDIS thought of. Time Lord Victorious, the Ninth Doctor and Rose Tyler also arrived in the Dark Times, landing in the midst of the Eternal War. After helping vampire slaves liberate themselves from the Three Mad Sisters, the Doctor stayed with them aboard their coffin ship whilst Rose stayed on a moon to recover from briefly becoming a vampire. Comic. Monstrous Beauty. The Time Squad's investigation into the source of the alterations and the Ninth Doctor feeling something was wrong with the Dark Times led both factions to Mordila. Pros. All flesh is grass. As the Kotoru died, the Doctor led the mercenary forces to Mordula, intending to seal off the Kotoro's power source. His fleet was confronted by the arrival of a Dalek saucer, carrying the Eighth Doctor, and the coffin ship, commanded by the Ninth Doctor. Both of them pleaded with him to stop, but he dismissed them as tricks and ordered his fleet to open fire, pros, the night, the fool and the dead, destroying Mordula. Whilst the younger Doctors were shocked, the Daleks and vampires attacked, beginning the Battle of Mordila. Despite the Doctor's efforts to rein their forces, the battle escalated and resulted in the destruction of the Tenth Doctor's forces, save his flagship. The Tenth Doctor managed to use the ruins of Mordila to seal the gateway to the Kotoru power source as intended, using that to mask his ship's escape. Pros. All flesh is grass. The Tenth Doctor continued wandering the dark times in the surviving mercenary ship, connecting his TARDIS to its damaged engines, accompanied by Brian. Audio. The Mines of Magnox. The Tenth Doctor went to a desert planet alone and was feasted by ghosts, who fooled him into believing he had saved a species. He was found by Brian, who revealed the truth and destroyed the ghosts. Comic. Tales of the Dark Times. The Doctor took their ship to Magnox, where he sought to ask the Council of Mines if he had done the right thing taking on the Kotoru whilst Brian was embroiled in a plot to assassinate the mines. A Kotoru ship led by Avkan arrived, demanding the mines tell them how to survive the Doctor's judgment or they would wipe out the planet. Brian assassinated the mines before he could met them, forcing the Doctor to organize a hasty evacuation of Magnox before the Kotoru reduced it to ruins. The survivors of Magnox settled on Islos. Audio. The Mines of Magnox. The Dalek Time Squad, believing they had failed to correct history, 
began a backup plan of harvesting life forms unique to the dark times to weaponize them. Pros. Mission to the known. The squad harvested the population of Velocia under the pretense of saving their best minds from the coming of the Kotoru. Comic. Tales of the Dark Times. The Eighth Doctor found himself excluded from the Dalek schemes, as they only needed him to ensure their eventual departure from the Dark Times, but was allowed to join their some of their explorations, pros, all flesh is grass, including of an abandoned spaceship they discovered. The Doctor realized it had been left by a species wiped out by the Kotoru as a reminder of their civilization. The Daleks found a source of Huon energy aboard and attempted to absorb it, requiring assistance by the Doctor when it went wrong. Comic. Tales of the Dark Times. The Ninth Doctor continued to help the free undead search for a planet to settle on. Pros. All flesh is grass, visiting Parvana with a Kala, where they were hunted by an invisible creature, which the Doctor held off by setting a sonic stake alight. Comic. Tales of the Dark Times. His coffin ship was targeted by the Daleks, seeking a vampire for their experiments, but the Eighth Doctor forewarned the vampires so they could evacuate and escaped with the Ninth Doctor in his TARDIS. Pros. All flesh is grass. After the Eighth Doctor left the Daleks, the Time Commander and Executioner received pre-recorded orders from the Emperor, ordering them to target Gallifrey to avert the creation of the Time Lords. Pros. Mission to the known. Meanwhile, the strategist and scientist continued the experiments, seeking to create a more biologically efficient form of Dalek, the symbiont. Pros. All flesh is grass. Together, the Eighth and Ninth Doctors went in search of the Tenth Doctor, traveling to the planet Hulan. They discovered a malfunctioning time machine bridging the future to the dark times, after its pilot had attempted to witness the Big Bang. They fixed her time machine and sent her back to her home time period. Comic. Tales of the Dark Times. The two doctors eventually tracked their tenth incarnation to Intranxis, where he was meeting the Death Brokers to procure new weapons for his ship. They rescued Akala, who had been captured after the evacuation, from the Brokers, but the Daleks attacked, seeking to capture her. The Ninth Doctor escaped with her back to his TARDIS whilst the other two Doctors returned to the Tenth Doctor's ship. They reunited in orbit, but the Ninth Doctor was angered by his other selves' lack of concern for the dying Kotoru and left with Akala to help them. Their target lost, the Daleks wiped out in Tranxis by setting its atmosphere alight, horrifying the Eighth and Tenth Doctors, who resolved to stop them. The Ninth Doctor and Akala's search led to them Biringi, where they met Inyat, now the last of the Kotoru. Meanwhile, the Eighth and Tenth Doctors discovered a coffin ship the Daleks had attacked and convinced a surviving bloodsman to help them and Brian infiltrate the Dalek saucer. There, the Tenth Doctor witnessed the creation of the symbiont using great vampire DNA and the Eighth learned the Daleks had been killing off the Kotoru, including dispatching a scout ship to Biringi, in preparation for attacking the ultimate end. A power drain caused by the experiments enabled them to escape, leaving Brian behind, and they had their ship destroy the scout ship attacking Biringi, where they reunited with the Ninth Doctor. Brian contacted them to reveal he had hidden in the source's engine room, having attached himself to an explosive to protect himself from the Daleks, and that the destination was Gallifrey. The Doctors went to mount a defense of their homeworld, leaving Akala to look after Inyat, with the Tenth Doctor rescuing Brian on the way. His rescue caused the strategist to realize the Doctors knew their plan, so it had the drones enhanced with symbiont DNA to counter their defenses. Whilst the army of undead Daleks battled the Doctor's ship and the three coffin ships who'd answered Akala's summons, the original symbiont was sent to kill Inyat. She issued the final judgment on it, wiping out it and all the drones sharing its DNA. This threw the Daleks' assault into chaos, as they panicked that the judgment may spread to pure Dalek DNA, enabling the Eighth Doctor to board the saucer and trigger Brian's explosive forcing the ship into the time vortex and out of the dark times. The Ninth and Tenth Doctors returned to Biringi, where they witnessed Inyat's death. The Tenth Doctor finally conceded he had gone too far and reconciled with his Ninth Incarnation, agreeing to end his rewriting of history. As the free vampires settled on Biringi, Brian decided to stay with them and the Tenth Doctor departed the dark times. Pros. All flesh is grass. The Ninth Doctor returned to Rose and, when she recovered, likewise left the dark times. Comic. Monstrous beauty. Thirty years after the end of the Kotoru crisis, the eleventh doctor visited the ruins of Magnox and recovered a data drive. He took it to Islos, where the survivors had started a new archive of knowledge. 
Audio. The Minds of Magnox.